Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris again. Uh, I've just done a lather review on the Bay Rum OSP. I've got one left to do so I thought I'll just do it now because I'm really enjoying this. I've got a few minutes to spare before I go down and do a little bit of shopping. So I'm going to do my last one which if you watch my last video is the orange patchouli scented soap from OSP. Uh, this stuff. The orange is very, very subtle, very subtle orange. And the patchouli is just it's beautiful. It just mingles just nicely. There's just there's a bit more of the patchouli than the orange, but it just just works so well. It doesn't smell like anything that I've ever smelled before. So this is a totally new um, scent to my nose completely. It smells almost like a really nice. Um, it smells almost like a bit like a almost like Quantrill. That sort of orange liqueur, that's what the sort of scent that I get from it. It's really nice. Anyway, same again, some old 830 brush, which I've just used so I don't really need to soak it straight into the dry puck. And we should see straight away that same effect of the load just happening instantly right in front of you. There we go. And that's it. That's that's that is literally all the load that you need. I don't know how long that was, but it wasn't very long. Just put that to the side to start drying. Like I say, I mean you won't actually be able to see the difference there, but it's used literally none of the soap. I mean, that's just a quick squish and that's it and it's quite a firm soap so it's going to last a long time that stuff I've got six tubs now so I'll probably have one of these tubs when I I'll probably want to pass it on to my kids at some point right I'm just going to have a little drink of my coffee it's all right it's not dairy it's coconut milk so there we go, that's the load that I've got there. Sent off the brush. You can really smell the orange now, the orange is sort of activated a little bit more with the water in there. Lovely. Let's see how we go. Oh, so luxurious when you put it in your face. So thick, soft. And the brush helps. The brush is lovely. That to me there, for those of you that watch quite a bit of shaving videos online, that to me is the perfect Paul H lather. So for those of you that watch Paul H, that is pretty much what he puts on his face. About that thick, about that, that sort of thinness on his skin, so there's not much there. That's about it really. So I'm just going to dip the tips, and as I did before, just take it a little bit further. I like my lathers dry, but I also like them quite uh, a little bit thicker on your face. The scent on this is beautiful. The orange just really come out now. Still getting the patchouli, but it's that orange is really emphasised now in the scent. But it's, it's beautiful. It's a, in a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it maybe a 5 or a 6 on scent. Probably closer to a 5. It's not a super strong scent. But it's a very, very nice scent. For those of you that love citrus, you could probably get away with this. It's not super citrusy. But you can definitely smell it. The patchouli is definitely the, the winner in the scent. In terms of strength. But the orange sort of boosts it, you get that, just that little subtle hint of orange but it's definitely stronger as it's wet and it's on your face. Another little dip. Right. I don't think that needs to go any further. If you guys want to see how far you can take this soap. There's another four videos, the previous four videos to this one pretty much. 
we'll show you what you can do with it. That's like a 15 second load if you're lucky in the brush, very quick load. And it's an outstanding lather. I can feel it slick. I know it's slick because I've, I've taken it off my face four times now and it's a nightmare to get the full slickness off your face. I just leave it on there, it sort of moisturises. But that's what you get from a 15 second load. And a very quick face lather. So I'm at five minutes now, I've obviously spoken a lot of crap in between as well. So you're looking at, if you're not on camera, maybe two minutes from getting from puck to face and having this sort of lather. Oh, just chucked the brush away. <laughs> Good catch. And that amount of lather in your brush as well. There's way more than enough in there for three passes. Easily more than enough for three passes. Beautiful stuff. I'm just going to bring my brush out into the sink this time because there's no point in putting it in my hand. You guys can see exactly how this soap works on my other lather reviews. And you can also see how it's going to work when I do my shave. Smells like something. <sighs> now that the scent's come out of that orange now, it just smells like something that I've had before, like not a soap, an actual a, a, a food. Oh, I can't put my finger on it. If it comes back to me, I'll pop it in the description. Post feel, it's just tremendous, it really is. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. James, you've, you've made a crack in soap, mate. I hope to get more of them, I hope to get more of your creams as well. Or some of your cream, I haven't tried a cream yet. I'd love to try your creams as well, so hopefully I can get hold of some of them. And yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys too for the rest of the weekend now. I'm not gonna go back on my camera until tomorrow for my head and face shave. But other than that, I shall um, speak to you guys later. Take it easy, thank you.